Are you ready? Let's go. Just Chanel here. Hey guys, Just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. It has been a long time, about five months since I've been on YouTube, but your girl is back just in time for 2022. If you're new here, my name is Chanel and I create lifestyle videos as a full-time flight attendant, entrepreneur, and content creator. Over here on my channel, we're all about a quality life, okay? And you deserve that too. So make sure you check out my loose leaf tea shop, shopquality.com. So the next time you tune in, you can sip some quality with me. Now, if you you're an OG and you've already been watching okay you've been riding along this road this journey of life with me okay for a while you probably are already sipping tea watching this video so make sure you let me know what you're drinking down in the comments I actually just woke up and I am making my first cup of tea for the day um, this video is all about organizing and resetting our lives for 2022 so if that's something that you're interested in just keep on watching of course make sure you are subscribed and and let's organize and reset. This morning, I am drinking Love Thy Liver. Okay, this is our best-selling daily detox blend. Let me open up these windows because, wow, it's dark. Um, best-selling daily detox blend helps alleviate bloating, aids weight loss, improves your digestive system. It tastes great. It's a peachy lemon ginger tea. And of course, I add fresh lemon juice. Okay. I really need to clean up, y'all. Um, <laughs> my uh, cleaning lady is coming, and I also need to take down the Christmas tree before she comes but tea drinking y'all is literally like the basis of my life okay other than god it is so important to find that self-care constant in your life and tea is that for me and it's also so true that like what you do at your mornings is who you are like it sets the tone for your day so make sure going into 2022 okay or we're probably already in 2022 when you see this video but you establish or pick up some sort of habit that is fueling you for your day. Um, tea just gives me everything I need. Like it gets my insides ready, it makes me happy, it gives me time to just sit and reflect on what I have to do for the day and also what I'm grateful for. Um, it's like that little just 10 minutes of peace. This morning, I'm actually about to get on a um, call with my therapist, like actually have my therapy session. In addition to the tea drinking, okay, and figuring out what that self-care constant is, please, especially if you are a black woman, if, if you my sis, please, okay, if you have never tried therapy before, visit, I think, blackgirlstherapy.com. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box. But a great way to organize your life and to reset your life for the new year is to get some professional help, okay? Because this will just help you navigate whatever is going on in your mind and your emotions. And of course we have friends and family for that, but there's nothing like a professional. Your girl is a tea dealer, okay? So I can tell you all about tea. I'm sure whatever you do, you can tell me all about. And there's people out here that literally focus on our mental health and helping us reset our lives, organize our lives mentally. If this sounds like something you need, girl, I'm gonna leave the link down below, blackgirlstherapy.com if I'm not mistaken, and you can find a therapist there. And I just, I just love that whole network. They have a great podcast as well that I love to listen to in the morning. Focus on things that are going to set you up for success going into 2022 and just throughout 2022, right? Um, I definitely recommend like even if you're familiar with therapy or if you haven't done therapy in a long time, just get like six, six or seven sessions, you know, just to kind of like, talk it out with somebody and you may not even know what you need to talk out but i promise when you get in therapy you're gonna find something to talk about so i'm about to go ahead and get my computer set up on the days that i have uh, therapy i wait to do my bible study in the mornings so i d highly recommend getting a christian therapist or somebody that just has the same beliefs as you so whenever you're doing your consultation um, i would ask i always ask like are you a Christian or like what's your faith base? Because I don't need anybody advising me that 
ain't one with the Lord, okay? We need to be on one accord and say, serving the same God, okay, if you're advising me. Hey, okay, I was checking my email because that's how like I get into the link for my therapy session. And I'm subscribed to God is Glamorous. It's actually a girl on Instagram. She does like a lot of faith-based reels that they're just really cool. And she has a um, subscription, it's free, where you can get a morning prayer every day to your email and the scripture and the prayer today. Let me show y'all. God is Glamorous, time for morning prayer. And the scripture for today's prayer is Proverbs 19, 21 tells us, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Like, oh, and they're all, they also do a prayer call every morning. I've never actually like, what is it called? Join the prayer call. But um, this is great. I mean, 2022, look at me. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So, ooh, this is good because we have to remember that no matter how much we plan for 2022, doesn't matter how many plans we make, okay? How thorough we are for 2022. At the end of the day, God got the say, okay? So that's a good one. Ooh, that was very fitting. It says, so although we may have plans for our life, it is important that we make sure that our dreams are all a According to his purpose as we step into next year and then it says I hope to see you soon for morning prayer I'm gonna leave her Instagram down below I believe it's at God is glamorous on Instagram but I'll leave it down below because I really like her reels y'all and if you're like me and you just like sit in the bed and scroll and watch reels <laughs> um, this is a good one I like I just recommend all of her content good morning good morning dear how are you good I'm good. You feel better. Girl, yes. Thank the Lord Jesus. I was, you had me tripping. I was like, like, something going to change. I don't know. I don't know if I just was. <laughs> okay. Another way to organize and reset your life. Girl, make sure you are checking on your friends. Okay. I do this like every day. I call a friend. Most of the times I talk to more than one friend, but I'm on the phone with AP right now. She is hidden. It's cool. Just say, hey. Yep. Oh, there she goes. She got her little fingers yep. up. <laughs> Um, okay, so going into our first aspect of life, finance and business, I am checking off a lot of things on my to-do list. This includes like deleting emails. I just got done with my therapy session, which was a bomb, but deleting emails. I am about to um, change my QuickBooks plan, like upgrade it. And then also I need to do my budgets for the new year, my personal and business budgets. Also need to like reschedule this finance appointment that I have because uh, COVID, okay? So your girl is not leaving the house. So I need to reschedule that again. And yeah, we're gonna just talk all about finance today and get the business in order for the new year. So if you're an entrepreneur or even a content creator, or you just wanna take control of your personal finances, it's time to get into this. Start with the budget. So it's so important to actually update your budget. I like to update my budget every single week. And I use Google Sheets. This is the easiest um, personally if you just kind of come up with a template so that you know exactly what you're bringing in every single month, what your expenses are. This is the perfect time of year also to cancel any subscriptions that you may have. Actually, let's go ahead and just go on my phone and see what subscriptions I have that I may need to cancel because y'all know how those little subscriptions hit your account and you're like, what is this Apple charge? Okay, so active subscriptions that I have, Adobe Spark with premium features. I do use that for business a lot, so we're gonna keep it. Facetune, I use that to edit pictures sometimes. Planoly, which is a great app for planning your um, content, like planning your Instagram feed. Also Canva, I have the pro version of Canva, which we definitely need to um, keep. And then I have InShot, which is a video editor. Don't actually know what that is. Okay, so I have that for a year. Um, it expires August of 2022. So before August of 2022, I'll definitely go back through my subscription. So we're gonna keep all of those. Yeah, that's a good amount. I have some expired ones here. Um, it says that my She Reads Truth subscription is expired, but I think that's because I was paying for it. But whenever you have like an actual physical subscription with them, you don't have to pay for the app. 
Now, when it comes to physical subscriptions, like products that you may receive in the mail, I use She Reads Truth. Let me grab my She Reads Truth book. This is the new study for January, the book of John. So this is what the study book looks like. And I also have the um, scripture memorization cards that I add on every single month. So this is a subscription. I'm definitely keeping my Bible study book subscription. I believe this cost me $38 a month with that includes the shipping. Another subscription I have is Ritual. I'm going to go on ritual.com and make sure everything is set for that. Ritual um, is a vitamin and supplement company. So this is where I get my multivitamin from. Let me show y'all what the website looks like because it's so cute. I usually get the Ritual Essential Protein and the multivitamin. The vitamins are only $30 a month. That's a dollar a day, okay? for your health and wellness. And yes, with my code, which I will leave the link down in the description box, um, you will save $15 off your first month. So check them out. They have vitamins for women, men, teens, kids, um, of course the protein. And then if you shop in a bundle, you can save. So I believe I was saving like five or $10 every month with getting the protein. So this is something if you really like drinking protein shakes every day this is a great option I'm not like a daily protein shake person um, but the protein tastes really really good I just already have like three packages speaking of subscriptions the quality tea lover subscription is back and instead of it being monthly we have now switched the program to a quarterly program so every three months you will receive a box of our hand-picked tea selections these are best sellers and seasonal offerings of course hand-picked by me um, and yeah I just want to really bring like that tea lifestyle, that quality lifestyle into your homes. You, We all need a moment, okay? We all need a moment. And tea is the perfect moment. Nice, cozy, warm cup of tea. Sometimes it'll even be an iced offering if we're in the summer season. But I want to just bring that, that time of reflection and gratitude and self-care into your homes. And so the Tea Lover subscription is back. This is something that we offered all of 2020, but we stopped offering in 2021 because the volume was just crazy. <laughs> um, and so now we're offering it as a quarterly subscription instead of a monthly subscription. So you'll get three months worth of tea with your subscription and you can save $10 on your first month. So check the link down in the description box, head over to the website shopquality.com. The drop down menu, you'll see T subscription, T lever subscription, and you can sign up there. Okay, this is this is the time. Okay, to reset your life, get it together, get these best sellers that love that liver that you should be drinking every single morning to alleviate bloating and improve your digestive system, and then also just trying some really fun and unique teas. In the first quarter, of course, we're celebrating Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day and crafting teas that are like just all about strawberries and cherries and champagne and chocolate. And so I'm really excited for you guys to get these new offerings, these seasonal offerings in the first quarter box. And yeah, I can't wait. Y'all are just, ooh, just gonna explore all these different new teas. Oh, no, 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 file through those subscriptions, y'all. Um, Hulu, let's be honest, Insecure, it's over. Power, is Power over? I don't know if it's over, but Insecure is over. So if you've watched all of Insecure, it's time for you to downgrade. Let's review these changes. Let's see what my new total is every month. So total due today, $0. And going forward, I have, let's see. I will have the HBO and Showtime feature up until January 24th, so that's nice. If I wanna watch any Insecure reruns or something, that's cool. But my new total is only $15.98 a month. So for, from $42 to $16, I'll take it. Let's go to my budgets here. So here is a small business cash flow projection. This is a basically an overall budget sheet for 2021. So this is what I would be giving my accountant, giving my um, tax professional when it comes to time to file the business taxes. It literally has every single category you can ever think of business category over on this side. Um, yeah, so I basically am going into my QuickBooks once I upgrade that. And boom, QuickBooks. Once I upgrade it, I'll be going into QuickBooks and 
putting in all of these numbers, the categories, and we have this entire sheet formatted. Um, so, you know, it generates our totals. But then there's also my business budget here. My personal budget is set up pretty similar, but it's so important y'all, of course I'll get a phone call, to make sure you have these really small charges, apps and subscriptions on your budget. Um, I have this same type of category on my personal budget. So all of those apps and subscriptions that I pay for that we just talked about, my phone, um, the Apple subscriptions, those apps, the ritual, all of those things are in my personal budget as well. So if they're not in yours, this is the time to add it in. So you are going into 2021 with the right information to know how much money is coming in and exactly how much money is going out. If you're like me and you have a regular job where you make like an average amount of money every single month um, or you know you have an annual salary, I'm talking about my flight attendant job, you should be able to go into your past pay stubs and see exactly how much money you'll be bringing in in 2022. You can also, of course, um, if you got any sort of raise, generate that into your budget for the new year. So I'm going and looking at, we have a system, um, my company has a system where we can go in and see exactly what our paycheck will be. Well, it's not like the exact amount, but it's a pretty good idea. So we're, I'm able to go in and see exactly how much I'll make each pay period in January. So this is something that I'm going to transfer onto my budget. Here is my budget worksheet and how it's set up. So at the top, you'll notice my income all listed there. It's so important to know exactly how much money you bring in. You'd be surprised how many people do not know how much money they actually make. And so you're really blindly spending um, when you're not aware of how much money you bring in. So list all of your sources of income, um, the days that you get paid, and you can also update your budget. So I have the actual amount listed in the um, D column there. So I budget a certain amount in all of these columns in, in column C, but then I also go back and actually update my budget in column D every single month because, you know, sometimes you may say, oh, I think my power bill is going to be $200, but it may only be $150, so you'll have a little wiggle room there. The next category are my must-haves. These are things I cannot live without. If I don't pay these things, my life's going to be in shambles. So anything that, you know, is a necessity and is going to keep your credit intact, those are the items listed in this category. I have Hulu here, which may not necessarily be a must-have, but I don't know. We're going to keep it. Um, rituals is like my vitamin su subscription, which I think your health is, you know, important. It's a must have. And then I have like the She Reads Truth and Experian subscriptions as well. Um, just because I, I need those things. I, I feel like they're must haves for me. The next category are savings and investments. So here I have listed my opportunity fund and my emergency fund. Now two different things, both savings accounts, but the opportunity fund is like anytime I get an opportunity, this is money that I save every single month. And so when an opportunity presents itself, I have money to actually spend on something that I didn't necessarily budget for that month. An emergency fund is an emergency, something that requires calling 911. I think a lot of people forget that what an emergency really means. And so you rarely ever touch your emergency fund. An emergency is not, oh, you have to pay for your tag or you got a flat tire. You don't call 911 when you get a flat tire. So you really should have some sort of fund, you know, for car maintenance, or you can put that in your opportunity fund if something unfortunate happens. Um, I like to say my opportunity fund is like if I get invited to a Beyonce concert and the ticket's $800 and that wasn't budgeted for the month, well, that's an opportunity that I'm not missing. <laughs> So we're going to pull that money out of the opportunity fund. An emergency fund is like, you know, I don't know, my house burns down and I don't know, just I have to spend a bunch of money on a hotel for a month. Who knows? Anyway, church, charity, um, extra credit card payments outside of that minimum payment, school and education, saving for a house, and also like to save for traveling every single month. And this usually just takes care of like my accommodations when I travel. Then I have my wants, which are all of the wonderful things that I like to do, like, you know, get my nails done and go to Target. 
I'd go ahead and wrap up this finance section and then tell you guys what's to come in the rest of this video. So um, one thing I forgot to mention is checking your credit score. This is something that you should definitely do before the end of the year or the beginning of the new year, just so you kind of know where you are, especially if you plan to make any big purchases. Hello? miscellaneous things on this finance list i mentioned deleting emails it has really nothing to do with finance but i feel like it's just that get your life together task that i'm doing today and then also sending out your um end of year bonuses so that's something that i'm doing sending out end of year bonuses any christmas gifts that i did not purchase i actually did not give anyone a Christmas gift other than y'all I did a little giveaway on my Instagram but my actual friends and stuff I haven't gotten anybody gifts so now that I've updated my budget I know what my budget is for January of um, 2022 I also have a good idea what my budget is for the entire first quarter and I'm also able to see like a glance of my budget for 2022 like the entire year um, I know what I can spend on my friends, okay? So I'm gonna do a little bit of online shopping, buy them some things. Um, hello? I don't know why the music stops like that. <laughs> okay, so quick recap. This is, this is what you need, okay? I wrote a list. So update your 2021 budget. All that Christmas shopping you did, you should know how much you spent for Christmas, okay? Also, use some sort of platform that's going to help with your bookkeeping. This is whether you run a business or not. It can be something as simple as a budget sheet in like pages or Google Sheets. But if you wanna use an actual platform, I definitely recommend QuickBooks. Um, and then also I have friends that use Mint, which is like a budgeting app where you can link your accounts and basically they're like categorizing your transactions and you can really see how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. Um, go ahead and actually make your 2022 budget. So your annual budget, go ahead and start setting up quarterly budgets and then budget for January of 2022. And the categories I like to go by are must haves, savings and investments, and then wants or the fun category. Subscriptions, file through all your subscriptions. Those monthly reoccurring little bitty charges that you always see from Apple or physical product subscriptions. Uh, make sure you know what you're paying for and make sure you actually still need those things going into the new year. That's what I actually, the question I have written down, what am I paying? <laughs> what am I paying? That is so, I think that is just so relevant to like the Wi-Fi bill. The Wi-Fi bill, your phone bill, make sure that you're actually paying what you originally agreed to. So if you need to go into your bill history, your billing statements and making sure that it's pretty constant, right? Um, what is your take home pay? Know what you make. There are so many people that don't actually know the amount of money that they make, okay? They don't know what they actually take home and so going into your pay stubs and seeing what your average is um, and also like finagling, okay, switching up your direct deposit, having money going different places, this is a great time to do that. The music stopped again. Okay, I think we're good. I think it's just their little pause. Um, this is also a great time to ask for promotion. Okay, go ahead and write down all your accomplishments, okay? And go in and ask for a promotion, okay? This is what I did this year. This is how I was an asset, a valuable asset to the company. Um, and yeah, I want some more money. So run me my coins, okay? This is the promotion time. Here we are. Um, open new accounts. So this can be open up some savings accounts, new savings accounts, business accounts, more personal accounts, um, some investment accounts. Open up some accounts if you need to. Don't just go open accounts just because I said so. But if you actually like feel like you have too much money in one place, which I be feeling like sometimes. So that's why I was like, ooh, let's go ahead and go open up another business account. And I feel really good about that. Um, check your credit score. We talked about that. Also, go ahead and start prepping for tax season, especially if you own a business. But even if you're personal, you know, if you don't have a tax professional yet, find a tax professional, get some good references. Every tax season, I have so many people call me that's like, hey girl, who do you use for your taxes? Because I don't really like the person that's been doing mine and this, that, and the other. And I've been using the same person for a really long time and I love her. She just helps me so much with business and um, she explains 
everything so I can better understand because when it comes to finances and the tax world, I'm still learning, especially on the business side. So yeah, find you a really good tax professional and this is the time where you should do that before it gets too busy, especially with the pandemic too. Y'all know taxes have been taking a little bit longer to file. So go ahead and knock that off your to-do list. I think that pretty much covers it when we talk about organizing and resetting our life for the new year in the area of finance. So, I'm about to take a little bit of a break, a lunch break. Okay, also I need to get myself together for a meeting that I have in two hours. I'm gonna make myself some more tea too, so let's turn on the kettle. But being on the phone made me remember that you can call in for credit limit increases. So I just went and got my credit cards. Um, I like to keep my credit cards like in a safe place. I don't always take them out with me because, ooh, that kettle is tough. The majority of, um, my credit cards, I have them set up on like auto pay for bills, like smaller bills. And then I just take one out the house, like the main one that I use, I take that one out the house. So I'm going to actually get on the phone while I watch some property tours, some home tours on YouTube and have my lunch and call and ask for credit increases. So that's something else you guys can do on the finance um, spectrum of this organizing and resetting your life for the new year now in the rest of this video we're going to get into the fun part okay because this today i was like let me set aside just time to do all that computer calling money stuff right so now that we know how much money we working with now we can do a little bit of upgrades to the house i gotta take down the christmas tree this is major i know it, it seems small but like a part of having your life together is having your Christmas tree down, let's be honest. So I need to take down the Christmas tree. Um, the cleaning lady is going to come clean the house this week. I also um, want to like clean out the refrigerator, clean the pantry. So you guys will see me do that over the next couple of days. I need to do all of my laundry. We're going to send that off to get like washed and dried and folded. <laughs> but um, organizing your closet getting rid of any clothes that you don't need donating things um i have a pile y'all i've been like accumulating a pile of clothes for the past two years that i need to take to the dry cleaner and get altered so that's something else on my to-do list i'm going and buying like a new laundry basket also buying new pillows and comforters and like towels those types of things you need to refresh let me go ahead and plug myself while we're here okay so i mentioned i started a new business i started this business in november this is savory um and yes i now have salt free seasoning i have a salt free seasoning line so these are all of the seasonings that we offer these are available for purchase y'all this is so big for the new year because obviously health and wellness is you know like it's one of those things that we always set goals goals around surrounding your health and wellness and making sure that you are watching what you're eating um, and especially your salt intake which is a huge part of our diets is so important so coming out with a salt free seasoning line is something that I've been wanting to do for a while we have this lamb chop seasoning y'all always ask me how I make my lamb chops is this right here all you have to do is add olive oil you marinate your lamb chops and girl sear them things up and it's so good my chili seasoning Caribbean, which is a nice spicy seasoning. Of course, we have salt and pepper, very high quality. The roast seasoning, y'all know I love me a good roast around this time of year. Veggie, essential, essential, you literally put in every single thing, okay? By the Bay, which you know, seafood boils, gumbo. I just made some um, like just sauteed shrimp with this the other day, fire. And then the breakfast seasoning, which I love using for things like pancakes, French toast, oatmeal. Uh, so yes, if you are planning to kind to start following a meal plan going into the new year definitely check out savory i'll leave the link down below and the whole purpose of the seasoning line is not only to control the salt that you're intaking you're consuming but also to use one seasoning per dish okay so you literally just need this you're making asparagus you just need this okay if you're making chili you just need this if you're making some sauteed spinach all you need is the veggie that's it okay you don't have to pull 10 seasonings out of your pantry to get 
to the desired flavor for your food, okay? You just need the one. You just need the one. So all you need is one. Check out savory, okay? We are just giving you lots of soulful, sweet, savory dishes uh, in 2022. I can't wait to share more, but this is what we're starting with. And sneak peek, I am coming out with this situation, okay? So we'll have a full like seasoning spice display coming very soon um, with all of our salt-free seasoning blends. Oh, I just can't wait. Love the exterior. Love the white and black exterior. Look at the door. Get into the door. Definitely giving class. Okay, y'all. I sat down to finish watching the house tour, but one of my friends just called me. I told y'all I'd be talking about all my friends like every day. One of my friends just called me and she's like, she just finished some work. So she's like, you trying to take a shot? And it is. So I got my little, I buy this for one of my friends that drinks brown. Um, so I got this little crown apple. We actually both have crown apple, so we're about to take a shot. And we were actually drinking the same wine last night while we were on the phone, and I have some left. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my glass of wine too before my three o'clock meeting today. Let's get into it. I got the shot glass from a subscriber. I only own two shot glasses, y'all. This is one. I think I'll pour it a lot. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Y'all, this video is taking me a thousand years to edit. Okay, you know, your girl has not been on YouTube in a while. This is my fourth day editing this video and it's still not done. So we're actually gonna stop here so you guys actually have something to watch. Um, and I'm gonna edit the rest and so it'll probably be like a three part vlog, but the next part of the vlog will be uh, me taking down the Christmas tree and talking a little bit more about organizing the house and everything. I'm actually at the warehouse right now. Y'all see I got a new hairdo since the footage y'all just watched. I'm gonna um, give you a quick do 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 of the warehouse and then we're gonna wrap it up. have a huge order coming in today to get like some more tables chairs stools all that stuff um, of course we are getting orders out same day actually so if you order before 2 p.m. any day we're getting your order out same day and yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna just keep editing the rest of today so I can get another video up for you guys by Sunday I think is like a good day to upload um, so yeah stay tuned for the rest of this vlog but thank you guys so much for watching can't wait for you guys to see the rest I will catch you then bye